I don't know how they are leading themselves, but these streets are so narrow and there are lots of motorbikes and it seems a bit dangerous to move in here, especially if you are driving. So I really admire the drivers of Naples. You guys are amazing. I couldn't drive in here. See how crazy it is. Naples with its motorbikes and they drive crazy. Today is another day and we are moving uh, to the next city called Pompeii. We rented a car and I don't know, I was dreaming about road trip for so long and finally this time has come and we're gonna ride look what's happening here <clears throat> kind of a vintage shop just on the stairs, why not? in the city center so we are on our way Pompeii city. It seems like Naples is really huge. On the way to the Vesuvio mountain, this mountain we stopped in this area where you can take a look at the city and have lunch or dinner. So this is the view and this is the Vesuvio mountain or park, an old volcano which is dead right now, like dead volcano. Our check-in at our Airbnb in Pompeii is at 3 o'clock and right now is 1.20 so we decided to chill a bit to refresh ourselves and maybe we will swim It's amazing I feel like I'm in Cannes or Nice even if I have never been in there <laughs> but I think the vibes are similar swam together with my friend to that stones over there and came back also swimming it was so refreshing so good i really like it i feel so happy right now wow. so that is a dead volcano it's a Vesuvi national park from somewhere you can take a Vesuvi express bus and go up to the park so we arrived in our Airbnb it looks like this this is a kitchen area over there there is a bathroom and here we have bedroom so clean so comfortable this is the street of a cute city Pompeii we want to go for sightseeing first then we will decide what to, what to do next? So guys, we entered Citta di Pompei, ancient Pompei city, and we bought a ticket on the entrance. It costs 10 euros. So, yes. What? Tell again, please. Pompei ruins. Yes, we're gonna see Pompei ruins. I mean, the Pompei area that was 
ruined by volcano. All the surviving amphitheater. So here we are. This Pompeii amphitheater has given insights uh, to the gladiatorical culture of Roman Empire. But in the modern period, uh, as being a landmark of history, it has been serving as a place to hold concerts. So when you leave the amphitheater, you will have this view. It's awesome. And today's weather is great. Look at the sky. So here we are. This was the city of Pompeii, ancient city. And now it's like a, just a walking area as a museum. Imagine it was a city. Wow, look. This is a history. I feel like I'm being a part of a history and this was an ancient city where people used to live and it was just buried by a volcano Vesuvia in the year of 79. Look, the area is huge. Right now this city serves as a museum under the sky and it was included to the world treasures by UNESCO. Look. Looks like a church. I mean, it seems it was a church before. Even those jars are still saved. The dishes ancient people used before. Another place of Pompeii city, but I see there is a camera. So I think there is a shooting taking place. I mean, look at the city, guys. It's enormous. We're still walking and walking. And we are worried it will be hard to find the exit. Even the guy from the tourist office told us that one day won't be enough. Thank you. So if you are coming here, come early in order to see everything. But even though I think one day, one whole day won't be enough. Yeah, we entered with last. Mm -hmm. And this friend told me that this area was the main area or district, like a main street of the city. It's unbelievable, like how come? Look how big it is. Wow. This was a water pipe. And this area is for sauna or spa. And it's divided into two sides, like female side and men side. And this was a huge changing room. Mm -hmm. So you're going to cook a pasta for us? Pasta. First yes. I need to make the fire. Mm -hmm. Put some wood in here. Good luck, chef. Put the pot, the water. Yeah. Then I have to make the dough myself. And then make the pasta. Hope it will turn out delicious. Hospitum city. So now we are close to the Lupanare of Pompeii. It is the ruins of a brothel in the ancient Roman city. It's of a particular interest for the erotic paintings on its walls. Since Lupanare is Latin for brothel, the Pompeii Lupanare is also known as Lupanare Grande of the purpose-built brothel. So it's like mm, Kisen for Koreans or Geisha for Japanese. People usually came here to have fun.
And now this really seems the main area of the city with this monument it's half broken the statue of apollo in the pose of archer was the first bronze statue excavated in pompeii and only the upper part of the statue survived since this is the center of the ancient uh, city Pompeii, uh, it seems like no matter which way we take, we will end up in here, where the statue of Apollo is located. This is a quite big square. This is someone's home. I mean, this was someone's home. Look at this cute statue and this beautiful garden. Might be someone rich, the one who lived in here. Oh wow, look, there are stairs. Maybe this was a two or three degrees house and then people could walk upstairs and look at this kitchen compared to the other one it's bigger it looks like it is a restaurant or market because you know it's so big and you're yeah. close to the main square so or maybe a restaurant. yeah probably look at these jars and dishes Seems like, like a special museum. If I come closer, it's like this. Maybe they collected everything that was that were demonstrated in the whole city in here. Nice. So we are at the exit area and here we can see the this broken statue from the right side and this is the city adorable walking in the main street of the modern city not in the ancient one. Oh, desserts yummy about this beautiful place to finally have our dinner so romantic with those lights and here we see lemon tree and orange tree We had an amazing dinner, like the pasta was just, I don't know, very delicious and we decided to walk around a bit in this beautiful area of Pompeii. We came to this fancy pasticceria or bakery where you can take lots of desserts and ice cream. So I ordered cappuccino freddo, which is frozen cappuccino. It was very nice. So it looks like this. On top, it feels like ice cream, but on the bottom, there is a coffee cappuccino. Very yummy. Today is the third day of our trip. Uh, it's 9 a.m. right now. I'm making morning coffee. And then we will move to another city called Sorrento. And after Sorrento, it will be Positano, finally, my dream destination. I really like this Airbnb in Pompeii. The lady was very nice. 
we had like croissant which was eaten yesterday this stuff coffee and this bakery which is very sweet so see you very soon